Hi, I am Dhawal Kumar Surti and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I am sharing lot of information about pharmaceutical industry specific to the injectable manufacturing, parental manufacturing. Uh, be with me. If you are liking my video, you can subscribe to my channel. In this specific video, I will be talking about a smoke study. I have already prepared one video on the smoke study and this is my second video on the topic smoke study. So in this specific video, I will explain why we need to perform the smoke study. So smoke study is a very important tool in injectable manufacturing so that we have to prove that our area grade A is maintaining the grade A airflow within the grade A environment. So smoke study is used to perform in filling machines where we are filling our injectable products under LF. So we have to prove that it is maintaining the laminar airflow in the filling machine while we are doing the various activities in the filling machine. So what are these activities? So we perform assembling. So before filling of the product, we have to assemble the sterile filling assembly through which the product is fed into the containers. So why this assembly requires lot of aseptic intervention, lot of activity. And these activities can hamper the airflow. So we have to prove that by these activities, there is no turbulence, no eddy currents, no active while performing this activity. We have to perform the actual activities, what we are doing during the assembling. We have to simulate the same sequence, same process, same number of personnel in the smoke study and we have to prove that the smoke in spite of that activities it's not getting disturbed or even there is a slight disturbance during the activity the smoke smoke flow or air flow is restored to the original that is one part uh, for the assembling part then as we know in the injectable filling we have to do lot of aseptic intervention lot of aseptic interventions during the activity so we are performing uh, interventions, uh, there are two types of intervention, inherent which we are doing daily or which is a part and parcel of the process and corrective. Uh, such interventions which are not done daily, which are not parcel and par part and parcel of the process but we have to do as a, as a activity. Uh, it can be changing something, it can be uh, additional maintenance activity. So such sort of interventions we have to perform in the smoke study also. So whatever intervention you are performing during media film, during a routine operation, all the interventions into the filling setup, filling machine we have to do into the smoke study also. Uh, the only purpose is to prove that with those interventions we are not disturbing the airflow within the filling machine. So this is second part. One more criteria, so whenever we are transferring the material from grade B to grade A, so before our filling setup, before our filling assembly, whenever we transfer the material, we have to uh, through smoke study demonstrate that while we are transferring the material and, and we know we have to open the filling wrap door, filling machine doors, even if it is an isolated, we have to open the door to transfer the material inside. So while transferring, it must be ensured that the airflow from filling machine is going outside to the grade B or grade C surrounding area and not from outside area to inside. So this is another most important part which we have to demonstrate to smoke study that we are not disturbing the airflow. So hope this short video is very helpful to understand that why we need smoke study during the filling setup filling intervention while material transfer. I will be making more videos. Please be with my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you.